I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm very I'm a masculine girl. Like, yeah. you're not gonna tell me what to do. You're not gonna tell me what to wear. You're not gonna tell me where to go. You're not gonna tell me. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna do what the f I want to do. And that's maybe people maybe. call you rude. Maybe. What? Yeah. Because you just you're not gonna listen to that. Huh? Um, I don't mind if men lead the way, but I thought don't be a hypocrite. First of all, I don't mind. Okay, so like I, I genuinely do love a masculine man. Mm -hmm. And I like a man that makes me go into my feminine feminine feelings. But at the end of the day, don't be doing too much. Don't be telling yeah. me like what I cannot wear. Cause at the end of the day, I know yeah. what the fuck I cannot wear yeah. when I'm fucking someone. Yeah. Like I have to be respectful. Yeah. I know my respect. You're tripping. I'm gonna wear the fuck I want and I'm gonna go out with my bitches mm -hmm. if I wanna go out with my bitches. I'm young. Mm -hmm. I can do what the fuck I wanna do frustrating when you meet someone being yourself and they expect you to change when it's like but you are supporting me the way i was when you met me so why is that changing all right. the time? that's a big problem like that they, they problem. want you they see you on instagram living your life yeah. and then they come into your life and they're trying and to change it up yeah and they change it up I'm yours for the summer, wanna drink until we drunk, I'm choosing, baby. Say, bro, listen, check this out. My son brings something around like this. I got to be the real nigga that I am. Listen, bro, she for the streets, guy. This ain't the type of woman you want to be with, man. She might look good. That box might be everything. But, bro, this is not a good woman. This ain't wifey. This ain't girlfriend material. You can't even have no form of authority over her. Listen to what she just said, man. She said, dudes be trying to change me and everything like that. When a man got a system... When he got a program, a fire organization, he can't let no worker, no employee, no player come in and try to run the show because he didn't get to what he got listening to these people, bro. It's like when you go get a job, bro, you dress a certain way outside of their doors. When you cross that threshold, they expect a certain type of decorum. And that's the same thing for you guys, bro. When y'all got women, man, and they trying to be these wild horses, did that. Get them out of your life, man. They got another woman out here that'll get on your program, especially if you living in your purpose and you got some things going on for you. You have leverage. They don't. A pretty woman is a dime a dozen these days. Real talk. A man that got his shit together is not a dime a dozen. It's reverse. Ain't nothing feminine about her, bro. The only man that can control her is a man that's going to beat on her. That's the only man that can control her. I promise you that. She got to be afraid of you in order for a woman like this to listen to you, bro. In a relationship, you're supposed to use each other. What this means is if your woman is better at budgeting, let her do the shopping. If your man is better at cooking, let him do the cooking. If your woman is a quicker thinker, take her advice. If your man has more common sense, then let him be the brains in the right situation. Often, we as humans compete with our significant others, when in actual facts, we should focus more on becoming one with one another. I'm not going to waste my four or three hours more on my lawn and all my acres of land. Question, I'm going to pay somebody to do it. Am I less of a man? If I'm paying a chef to cook, am I less of a woman? If I if I value traditional values and you ain't present Traditionally, anything else, a man should know how to change a tire. Women don't, don't want to watch the f kids I no more. They want nannies watching the kids. Women don't, don't want to cook no more. They want a chef. They want to lay up and get by dildo and, and, again, and roses and then want the nigga to still be paid for everything. And Fuck again, out of I here. feel like... Yo, if I wild them, y'all, let me hold me accountable. That's all I need so, to know. Yeah. So I'm from Colombia. If you're a Colombian girl, you have three, four American guys approaching you, offering you money, and pulling out their passport, like literally, and then telling you, I'm American, like I'm actually looking for a girl, like I'm actually, I will bring you here, but it's just odd. Like, why you wanna get with a girl that doesn't speak your language and that makes up to $200 a month? You know, it's just odd. Like, I don't wanna point fingers, but it's like, why are you looking for that when you can get a girl? Why can you not get in America, you know? you cannot get a girl. Is this black guys or white guys? I saw a lot of black guys. You know, it's odd. Like, the direction that they exude is just mm. weird. Hey, are you busy? Kind of. What's up? All right. So, I kind of got pulled over by the cop for speeding. So, he was going to give me a ticket, but I told him that you fell down the stairs. So, I just need you to go lay out on the stairs like you fell. He said he won't give me a ticket if I'm not lying. Man, why you got to be speeding, man? Like... Where are you going? Babe, I have to use the bathroom, so I'm trying to hurry up. But he said if I'm not lying, he won't give me a ticket. All right. You'll be laying out for me? Yeah, I guess I got to do an acting job, huh? I mean, I guess. I'm about to be there in like a minute, so. A minute? Okay. 
But the thing is, though, if you're saying something to me, if we have an argument, right? But the thing is, though, I'm literally nonchalant, not on purpose. I'm like, what okay, you so saying? why don't you care if you if I'm obviously mad in the conversation? It's not that I don't this care. Thing, it's like you, the thing you're is, giving the energy that ahead, you Zay, don't care. I was just about to say, it's so not that's that we the problem. don't care. You, you act like out, you don't care. But I'm saying, Zay, off bat, you you seem like a very relaxed type of guy. Mm -hmm. So off real, you probably if if you actually start yelling in a conversation or an argument, you probably real real mad. Yeah, no, of course, bro. It's not that we don't care. It's just sometimes some stuff is doesn't require emotions. I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to hear the concerns you got. And I'm just be like, okay, we're going to work on it. I'm not going to do it. I can't. Because I ain't going to lie. Many yeah. times when men actually do raise their voice, like women start getting like very like hostile. Like, wait, why you getting mad? Why you getting mad? Ah, why you exactly. But I'm not. What? I, I, you, you literally just exactly. said you're trying to get me mad, man. Like, but I'm not. You like, can't win. I'm here now. Like, I'm here. Like, what's win. up? Listen. Uh, you guys. There we go. Thank you. You're not gonna say my son has flaws. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get, get this perfect. No, it's not the police. That trash you're wearing, we just go. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. <laughs> you're not gonna ruin my you day. You are not gonna say my okay. son has flaws. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everybody has flaws, and that's why I love them. Yeah. You can leave, yeah. Judy. Like, you don't have flaws. You can leave. Yeah. You yeah. can get out of my wedding now. I'm not leaving. Yes, that dress you you're wearing, I paid for. Huh? Uh, oh, get out. I'm not getting out. Please, please. Try it, and I'll have you arrested. Well, okay, church Tony, church. get her out of here. That's this is not right. Church, Tony. this is not right. Just the wedding. Fellas, don't be like this, right? Don't be no mama's boy, right? You gotta control your mama and your woman at the at the end of the day. Real talk, you can't allow your mama to to mess up your blessings and mess up anything you got going. I ain't saying get married. I'm just saying like if your woman is a good woman and your mama the type of person who's rude and nasty to her, man, you gotta check your mama, man. I know you've been knowing your mama, I understand that, but bro, if you find a unicorn of a woman out here and your mama is wedging, you know, herself in between y'all, bro, your mama really is just one of these rashes that I talk about every day, if we being real. Your mama not a unicorn. The girl is, but your mama ain't, bro. Don't let your girl stand in the way, bro. You know, a good woman these days seem like it's one in a million. You gonna let your mama stand in the way of that? Man, y'all niggas crazy. A lot of y'all mama mean as hell, too. What other bitch is gonna make you a sandwich and some chips for breakfast? A lot. No, you fucking didn't. Go get them then. <laughs> make that shit yourself. Give me that motherfucking chip. You don't deserve that shit. Why would you throw my sandwich on the floor? People constantly put in black women faces the statistics of we're the most educated and the least married like it's impossible for us to do it at the same time. It is possible to get both, but you have to have that mentality from young. The mentality that was pushed into my generation's head from young was marriage, kids, get your education, get in your career, and then do marriage and kids. But they don't tell you the flip side of that is when you're older, it's more difficult. Mm -hmm. When you're older, it's more difficult to settle down mm -hmm. with the right type of person. It's difficult to settle down with a person that you feel like is compatible to you. If you want to talk about finances, education, whatever, it's very difficult. If more of us knew younger in our twenties, when we was out, just we lit, we outside, and we were actually trying to zero in and trying to figure out who's the right person and trying to aspire to where we are now, we would be better off. It doesn't have to be for everybody, but I think there's a nice chunk of women that this is important for them to know. Can you get dressed? My boyfriend's coming. But your boyfriend's like a brother to me. You're literally wearing underwear. Is giving insecure, but okay. It's girls like, but honestly, I would not mind if your boyfriend came. Like, he's mad cool. Cisco! It's girls like, but don't worry. Your girlfriend, she not getting away with nothing around me. Because I'll text you real quick. <laughs> I'm going to text him real quick, girl. So, you better watch it. Do you want her to wear that? Because I can tell her to change. Because it's like a little short. All right, anyway. 
Paul. Do you like what I'm wearing? Uh, 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 uh. I'm saving that last piece for your boyfriend. It's literally not that serious. He said he wanted to say some, so I said I'll give him the last piece. We had the hooky. Sister, <laughs> hurry up and come try this. She wants to take the last piece. How much money does a guy need to make in order to be with you? I mean, I'm not saying money's a factor, but definitely over six figures. What expensive girl. Um, I think more realistically, <laughs> um, I would love a six-figure man, but that's not happening. Um, I don't really think I don't really think about that though. I I agree. Yes, like I would love a hundred grand at least. <laughs> okay. How tall does a guy need to be in order to be with you? Six, six foot. He needs to be six foot. Yeah. Just taller than me. I'm four eleven, so I just need you to be like. My tall enough. Like your height. Yeah, your height is good. Valid. Going on. So you know what? I'd rather my nigga stay on this level right here. I don't need him getting too big or being outside too much or accomplishing too much. Because then it's going to bring on the bitches that it's their life mission to fuck somebody else's man. They talk about it every summer. They trying to be outside. They trying to fuck with a rich nigga. So you know what? I don't want my nigga to be a rich nigga. So why you as the nigga praying for a blessing, a financial blessing to go up, the bitch next to you, your hate mate is praying you don't go up too far because I don't need you to outgrow the relationship or get to a point where women or a woman other than me really sees some sort of value in you on a first date where they gonna take you to on a first date with chris i'm gonna be on the top penthouse penthouse suites Ooh, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Penthouse suites. like run a hotel where we going let's we stay the night like no I, I didn't i didn't say where your boyfriend i said i said where you gotta get taken on a first date i know you said where with chris like penthouse suites type yep Yo, what? I said, <laughs> I said, I said, where does a guy have to take you on a first date? Ruth well, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> like penthouse suites. Suite. I want to be at want, the top looking over yeah, the Yeah, I like, want private. Right? I don't want the extravagant food bringing my right. steak, yes. medium rare. Please, if it's fucked up, if it's not even rare, medium rare, send it back, give me yeah. another one. And you want to keep doing that too, give I me another cheesecake. one. Cheesecake, I right. want to order. So, order the whole menu, I'm out of fat. Let me taste test everything. I think, I think I, might, I might be fucking with y'all, so like, can a dude hit after the date or what? I don't let just anyone hit. You know, I go to Ruth Chris all the time, bro. Like two or three times a month. I ain't even going to lie to you. I go over there, get the crab cakes, my lamb chops. I like that cream spinach and I like the uh, the potatoes, the mashed potatoes. But look, ain't no way I'm being seen in public with those. At no damn Ruth's Chris. Ain't no way. What the hell does that say about me as a man? I'm bringing this to Ruth's Chris. You done lost your damn mind. That's bringing my SMV down. <laughs> Straight up. Not going to happen. Talking about some first date. <laughs> You be lucky to go there for your birthday. And then you know a question I would ask them, like say, when was the last time you treated yourself to Ruth Chris? Yeah, two months ago. What you ate. Ha! They gonna lie. She ain't never took herself to Ruth Chris. I bet you she haven't. Be 100 real with y'all. Y'all gotta stop falling for this, fellas, man. These women ain't worth no damn Ruth Chris, dog. Hell no, man. Very few of them are. I swear, man. Like I don't want to be that person, but bro, y'all know what's out here in these streets, man. These women ain't doing number trying to jug, finesse, and finagle y'all, bro. And you gonna spend your hard-earned money on one of these and lost your damn mind, bro. I should slap you on the back of your neck if you even considered bringing a woman to Ruth's Chris on the first damn date. What are you telling her? I'm desperate. That's what you're telling her. As soon as you say, all right, cool, she nope. She got a sucker. And she don't respect you for that. Like, I'm not into, like, emotionally, like, finessing. You know what I'm saying? Like, having sexual intercourse with somebody that you don't, you know what I'm saying, that you're not with, bro, that's fucked up. You know, only a few men going to ever get to that stage where they just don't want to just sleep with any woman. Usually these is the usually these guys have had a lot of women before and they've had an awakening, maybe a spiritual awakening or something like that. And they really feel like every time you have sex, you are doing an energy exchange. And now they like, man, I don't even want to do that no more. Those are usually the guys who say things like that. They ain't simps. They ain't nothing like this. They just tired of sleeping down with these Instagram models and stuff like that because it's it's meaningless, right? I get it, right? I think that men go through way more than women. I think that women have multiplied it by because their voices are louder and y'all complain a lot more. Just because you're born with a penis, you're expected to be to be a piece of or you're not going to expect to be cared for on a low moment. Right, and just because you're born a woman, you're supposed to know the answers to everything. I don't feel like we ever give the same energy when we say men should have known better. Men should not have done certain things you're a better person why right? am i a better person why can't i be a, just as much of a piece 
as you. But you're, I'm agreeing with you almost, right? Because it's like they're going to hold you to a higher standard. Yes. But at the same time is being held to a lower standard means that you could never, even if you're a good person, you're still being held low. So nobody is going to give you no grace because they're going to think you ain't shit from the start. They're going to assume the worst of you from the start. You don't get no bail. You got to have it already as a man. A ain't going to help you. The women ain't going to help you. You're expected to help. You're expected to have your shit together as a and ain't no community for you. Why did no one tell me that men just don't just don't get told nice things, apparently? Today I told my boyfriend, hey, you're deserving of love. And he cried so hard he got a nosebleed on my new dress. I'm not mad about the dress. I'm not mad about that at all. I'm mad about the fact that in his 18 years of life, 18 years of life, no one, not a single person has told this man that he's deserving of love? Are you fucking shitting me? Hey, bro, you got to really think about it. For those of you who have daughters, what kind of movies do they watch? They watch these Disney movies. They're watching these YouTube shows and everything like that. And in all of these shows, what it is, it's the woman. She's the star of the show. A man is trying to fight for her love, earn her love. She's the center of the universe. So they're being programmed, indoctrinated to think this, right? And, you know, it starts in uh, elementary and stuff like that. They start to notice that the teachers are paying more attention to them than they are to the boys. And then the boys start to pay attention to the girls when they get older and start liking the opposite sex and things of that nature instead of, you know, being so ingrained in their peer groups now they're like i like girls so now these girls are getting all of this attention and no one ever is showing them that men and boys won't love too nobody ever shows them that they're taught that a man is supposed to appease me a man is supposed to take care of me pursue me court me it's me 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 they ain't really got no shows out there showing you how a woman is chasing a man and only time I could really think about it is like when the woman looks goofy in shows like that little girl that likes Steve Urkel in Family Matters, right? They didn't paint her in a good light. No woman wanted to be that girl chasing a guy. Or like in The Fresh Prince when certain girls like Will, but he didn't like them. No woman wants to be that woman. So they'd rather be Hillary. You know, Jazz, Jazzy Jeff was on Hillary's nuts, so to speak, figuratively speaking. And this is what they think is normal. Society has taught them that, bro. That's why men get the same treatment. People don't realize, and which, what makes marriage and relationships so difficult is that it is more commitment than chemistry. There was a thing going around in that early culture era where specifically I saw this geared toward Christian women. It's like, all you have to do is find a Christian man. And if he's a Christian man, you're a Christian woman. Uh, that ain't true. Christian men crazy, you crazy, we all crazy. You know what I mean? You haven't met any of God's children. We are all buck wild and we all love Jesus. I said this years ago and I heard somebody say it uh, on the podcast. And I was like, oh, now I can't say it no more. But everybody's crazy. You just got to find the type of crazy that you can deal with and someone that can deal with your crazy. And someone dealing with your crazy is, 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 it's amazing because you crazy. Smack water, cake ad, nigga. Goddamn. Why do you feel like dating in 2023 is so hard? Because of access, my nigga. Back in the day, access was limited. Like, before that was a car, motherfuckers, especially niggas, you got to walk six, seven miles for the nearest shot of cop. Nigga ain't trying to do that. You right. got a bitch at the high. That's why you had big families. Mm -hmm. You had seven, eight kids because a nigga had to work and come home, get some pussy. Go to sleep, wake up, do it tomorrow. Right, that's right. I nigga could travel and go get some cock. Mm -hmm. Wait, you said nigga could travel and get some cock? Yeah, cock, nigga, cock. Nigga, that, that don't, you young. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, no, you I'm just making sure. Yeah, you young, right, my yeah. nigga, yeah. And a nigga could travel and get some cock, cake ass nigga. <laughs> when they came with the TV, mm -hmm. niggas could sit in front of a TV and see bad bitches. And then he look at his hoe. But now you got social media. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you could turn on that motherfucker down and see all the baddest bitches in the world. The bitches is fucked up and the mm -hmm. niggas is fucked up. So it's making it hard on everybody because everybody got unrealistic expectations in a relationship. These bitches, they want a nigga with money. They want to build the bow. Mm -hmm. Bitch, let me tell you something, fucking bitch. I'm going to tell you the honest to God truth, fucking bitch. You hoes, y'all try to put a nigga through a whole bunch for that little fuck ass pussy, fucking bitch. Mm -hmm. The most shit you put a nigga through for that pussy, fucking bitch, the most shit he gonna put you through after he get the pussy fucking bitch. Mm.
Okay, God, nigga. But look, access has been the worst thing that happened to human beings, bro. I promise you. And social media gave people access, man. You know, I ran into a guy on Facebook yesterday. I commented on a girl that I went to school with because her son is really, really tall, right? He's like damn near approaching seven feet at the age of 16. So I was like, damn, us shorter men, because I'm 5'10", say, damn, we hate when another man is tall but doesn't use his height to play basketball or something like that. And this guy commented minute and i said damn i haven't thought about this guy since the eighth grade right now imagine you're a woman you haven't seen your high school crush since y'all graduated it's 20 years down the line let's say this man is still attractive he looks the same way he looked in the 12th grade hairline still intact he's still in shape she's married she's unhappy and he just says hey long time no see i would love to catch up with you she's gonna go before social media uh, ever happened bro that was virtually impossible he might live in new york she might live in california they're three thousand miles away facebook instagram social media in general has made our world so much smaller that we reconnect with people from our past and that is a recipe for infidelity that is a recipe for people to seem like they're unhappy it's a recipe for everything wrong and that's why a 